gosh, it's so nice that it's like starting to actually feel like spring. Oh, I've been waiting for this. This happens at the end of every season, or not every season, but at the end of every year, at the end of the winter season, I just, I'm so ready for damn spring. So, I've been away from making vlogs for a little bit. Obviously, I got that one out yesterday, but that was filmed a couple weeks ago. It's where the hell have I been? I've just been buckling down, taking care of business, and uh, when you're a single business owner and operator, things can get a little busy. So I've just decided to take, it was like almost two weeks off of like social media, making videos, everything of that nature, because I had to just like focus on taking care of the back end of stuff, getting all the simple shit taken care of so I could pay my bills, reduce a bit of the stress and get back to creating again. Because let's be honest, if I wasn't creating stuff, I would lose my goddamn mind. But having said that, Financial stress is enough to make almost anybody lose their goddamn mind. So I've been going through a little bit of that lately and I'll try to explain a little bit further. But for now, it's a fresh week, fresh start. I'm back on top of pretty much everything and uh, it's a beautiful day out and I'm gonna go for a nice little drive down to the dispensary. So get to enjoy a little bit, Ugh, can't see me, get to enjoy a bit of this weather and uh, pick up some medicine before work. So let's get packed up, head to the dispensary and uh, hit the wood shop for a good chunk of this today. So I just spent the morning painting on my iPad, like not painting on my iPad, but using my iPad to paint in Procreate. And uh, it's my first time ever using oil paints in like any capacity. And I know obviously it's digitally, but it does a pretty good job of replicating everything. And yeah, I kind of got lost in the sauce this morning and well, finishing up what I did last night and uh, Got my first little piece going. Pretty soft how this is going. Some Japanese, French, or Japanese or Australian, French, and panties, depending on which way you want to look at it. I'm gonna let you decide. Yeah, check this out. Uh, and then we're gonna head to the dispensary. Some casualine, please. Right, spring is almost here. Fucking seeing flowers and shit. Speaking of flowers, let's pick up some flowers. Hello, lazy cats. Sorry, I need to take my suit back. Mm. Oh. No, 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 no. Shit. Cat just clawed up my track pants. God damn it. Cats and track pants do not mix. Damn you. All right. So as I had talked about a little bit earlier, I'd been away for a little bit. I had a bunch of shit that I had to take care of, including myself. <laughs> so as many of you know, or many of you probably don't know, I'm actually self-employed and run two of my own companies. Uh, one that I've been doing for about six years now, which is BC Plugs, and I hand make beautiful wooden jewelry for these big old stretched ears. And we also do a bunch of other like wooden phone cases. I say we and it's just me. I do a bunch of other things like phone cases and like tunnels, USB power boxes, which are coming shortly, um, little speaker boxes, phone cases, a bunch of other shit. But I've been lucky enough to be able to find a path within that to be able to create a living for myself, creating wearable art for people, and was able, through the Wild West days, and originally of uh, Instagram and Facebook and stuff, was able to really take advantage of getting my company started. And I think it just kind of reflected on the fact that I was building something that people really wanted. So I've been lucky enough to do that for, like I say, about six years now. But over the last six years, well, let me go for a little bit further back. For the last 10 years or so, I've dealt with really bad tendonitis in both my wrists, which basically just feels like I have a gigantic metal spike being drove through the main tendon on my arm, um, on both arms, pretty much at all times. Like, I feel like Baraka from Mortal Kombat, but like, not badass. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Pretty much feel like I need to make that same face. <laughs> Just like in pain all the time, but. Regardless, I got used to that, found ways to work around it. Essentially, I ended up finding my, my breaking point or my limit of how much work and stress I could actually put on my wrists. Because I hand build every single pair and I hand sand them. And yeah, when shit gets busy, rather than being smart about it, I just work myself to, like as hard as I possibly can to all ends and then I end up like burning out my wrists and I have to take a few days break and then it just, it turns into this whole shenanigans and stuff. So I've been on the transition point of now figuring out how much I can build, how much my body can actually do, and then what I actually want to do in life. And so I'm trying to mixture those three all together and find a perfect life balance between making as much jewelry and plugs as I can for people without killing my wrists while also finding some actual social life. Um, Cause I pretty much let myself disappear into work and that can be really bad sometimes. I mean, it can be really good sometimes for getting forward on stuff, but you f forget how long it's been since you've seen certain people and certain friends and stuff, which sorry peeps. It's not that I don't like you or anything. I just, I get busy working on my own shit. So within that, it's really retarded how this all worked out. I started off on Etsy and I eventually worked to making my own website, which is now run off of Shopify. And that's where I do all my business from. As things grew, so did my build times because I had more stuff online on deck that needed to be built. And so during the Christmas season, which is always my biggest rush, things get really backed up. I get so much to build. And then I always think that I can build more than I have. I can, so I push myself really hard. And then, yeah, I just get, I get burnt out and it takes me a lot longer to build certain orders because I get like hundreds of pairs of plugs that I need to build. So in amongst doing that, I had a couple orders that were behind on Etsy. I won't go into too much of the back end stuff of it, but essentially I had a person file some complaints that weren't actually accurate. Essentially they had like got me to ship their package to the address that they had sent me. I sent three different packages to that, that address and then they basically put in a big complaint with Etsy and that was enough to shut down my store and Etsy just randomly shut down my store without letting me actually contact them, filing a dispute without them doing anything of that nature when a week or so after my Etsy store had got shut down, <laughs> a customer gets me back being like, oops, wrong address. Want me to send you the right address? And then like, it was already too late. My store was gone. Um, like five years of work. Um, yeah, about five years of work gone down the drain. And essentially like half of my monthly income was just now gone, which was like literally that this happened the month before I bought my apartment and had a mortgage to pay. So... Needless to say, I've been shitting my pants a little bit every single month trying to figure out how I'm gonna pay my mortgage because it's literally the same as if like you worked two jobs and you lost one of your jobs. So I've been in a bit of adapting mode mixed with that. Essentially losing half of my monthly financial income to taking on all that amount of stress that that actually created, let alone the new stress of moving into my first place. Like, so there's, there's been a whole bunch of stuff going on. And within that, like I found that I wasn't feeling as creative enough. And then on top of that, I was abusing my body because my outlets for like, if I'm not feeling good or something like that, or if I want to make myself feel better, it's usually food. So then I start going to food and then I eat too much of that garbage. And then it just turned into this, this downward spiral that I just really, really was not happy with. So that's what led me to the point of deciding that I needed to take a couple weeks off of pretty much everything, regroup, start taking care of my health again, get like literally down to like the simple shit of like proper sleep, proper eating, cleaning up all of my environments, meaning both my offices, my apartment, my shop, anywhere that like can just let my mind run astray or add added stress that is unneeded. I just basically took care of all that basic shit. And um, yeah, literally taking care of that stuff alone has helped spark my creativity tenfold. So, so that's when I just kind of hopped back in or decided that like, I don't know, Peter McKinnon posted a really good video the other day. I forget exactly what it was called. Let me see if I can find out here. I think it was the creative process, I believe. Him and his homie just put out this video the other day. It's like 33 minutes long, but it's called the creative process. And it essentially just like, it covers a whole lot of the qualms that a lot of our creators go through in the sense of like, 
we start doing it because we love doing it. But with like anything that we love doing, we always want to do it better. So we push ourselves for perfection and like trying new things and then trying to perfect those crafts, try to perfect those new, new skills, whatever they exactly are. And then within that, we start losing a bit of sight of like the fact of just getting the art out there because like we start trying to perfect something so much that we might end up spending so much time on that one thing that like, rather than doing what we used to do, like with music, for instance, uh, when I was writing music in my band days, like some of my best songs ever would literally come out and like, I remember I wrote one song, it was something like seven minutes or something crazy like that. It was literally like something, yeah, it was under 10 minutes, wrote and recorded the demo in under 10 minutes. And, um, and then when you start getting to a point when you start trying to perfect everything, there would be certain songs I would start trying to work on for six months. And at the end of it, you're just like, you aren't quite as happy because you almost fell off the line of inspiration that you were originally on because you're just trying to be such a perfectionist. So I don't know. I think I'm straying a bit from my original point, but the creative process video that Peter McKinnon put, just put out the other day really kind of hit the nail on the head that sometimes we have to, through our own eyes, look through the viewer's eyes, through your guys' eyes, and just kind of like actually think about how the content is actually being perceived. Like, I don't think you guys are ever sitting there watching my vlog, um, expecting there to be these super crazy transitions and and super hype edits. And I mean, I'm sure that like, you, you get used to certain things, but you don't click on my vlog because all of a sudden there's gonna be glitch transitions and sound effects and like super sick B-roll and that 120 frame slowed down 40%, nice map bar. Like, you know what I mean? Like you guys aren't clicking on that because of that. Hopefully you're clicking on it because of me and my personality and things of that nature. And like, you know, Bigfoot life, my life that I'm deciding to share with you guys and just document. So I'm gonna do my best to start trying to put out more videos, um, be less critical on myself and less hard because like, I legit spend like six hours plus editing each vlog. Um, I mean, I love it. That's the reason I do it. But I think I need to find a bit more of a flow state to be able to just create, ooh, to just be able to create something that I feel that I'm happy with whilst also sharing my ideals and opinions with you guys and all the new shit that I'm working on. So yeah, bit of a rant vlog today, but I kind of wanted to fill you guys in on where, I, what, where I've been what I've been up to, and uh, at least where my mindset's at. So I honestly feel that you guys haven't even seen me at 100 yet, so let's kick ass this year, and I like seriously got so much shit planned. But yeah, mainly I've had enough being freaking fat and broke, and just, I, I want my mind back, I want my body back, and I want to get rid of that stress, which the main, main bit of that right now is financial stress, and just wanting to be able to create like as much as I can every day, like, so. I think I know the steps that I have to do. I just need to execute it. And I'm gonna use you guys to help keep me accountable because like, I'm super grateful for all you guys. Anybody that's ever watched my vlogs or supported me with Create Dreams or BC Plugs, that shit seriously means the world. So I'm gonna do my best to continue creating as much as I can and giving back to you guys in the form of content, clothing, other rad shit. So let's get it this year. And I think that I'm gonna leave this vlog at that. I'm gonna leave this bit more of a rant style vlog yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed the style of just like a bit more deep insight into like, you know, just me and Bigfoot rambles. So as always, I'm super grateful for all you guys. Thanks for riding with me and what I do. And uh, if you want to show some support, head on over to createdreamsclothing.com, pick up some gear. I'm going to be clearing out a bunch of designs and I got a bunch of new stuff coming soon too. So, and rumor has it, we're going to be restocking pullover hoodies soon. So if there's any like specific designs that you would like to see on pullovers, let me know. Probably gonna restock a few of the initial ones that some people have been asking about. So, so yeah, head on over there, pick yourself something up and uh, know that it goes directly to supporting this guy and this channel and everything that I do. So thanks as always for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vlog, which should be real soon. As always, find your passion, create dreams, and let's get it. <laughs> Oh my god, 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 oh my god